Hi and welcome to another video in the Red Hat Certified System Administrator series based on Red Hat 8. Today's video will be on accessing remote systems using SSH. Right, the first thing to check is have you got SSH installed? Um, you can do a where is SSH so SSH is installed or you can do which SSH and it'll tell you where SSH is installed so we just do SSH command if we're just running about any uh, command line it will give us a, a nice uh, output there so we can actually specify ports etc um, you can specify a log file for it to, to write to, for example. So you get, you've got quite a few options. Again, you do usual stuff. You can do a man on the on the uh, on the SSH command and have a, a little look through the uh, the log file. So it's pretty simple to SSH to a remote system. You can use uh, literally just if I just do a clear here, just keep it clean. SSH username or if your username is currently the same so in this case it's not but if say on the remote server we had the same user C England or you're currently logged in as the root user and you want to use, use the root user on the on the remote system you can do that however if you need to specify a different user you need to specify it here so I've actually got a different user so this is all the free shells uh, here so then to do username and then the at sign and then the server name so it can be an IP address or a host name okay so I just type my password in let's take a few seconds uh, for the server to come up it's not the most powerful in the world Cool. You can see my prompt has changed now. So I've got web xyz at war. So this is no longer the my same system. If I do who am I? See, I'm actually logged in as a web user. So they're doing some special uh, script running that's obviously uh, relogging me into a another server. All this information that's come up here is what we call an SSH banner, and it's nothing to be concerned about. But a lot of companies, etc., use SSH banners, so it's just to give you either information about the server you're currently connecting to, or warnings like um, you shouldn't be logging into this server um, unless it's for a particular business purpose, etc. So it's the it's that sort of information. It's pretty simple to use. Once you're on the prompt, you can use it as any other prompt. You can do the, you know, the cat command, etc., all that sort of stuff. Um, as previous, um, there's nothing really to report. To get out, it's just a standard exit, and you'll be back to your original prompt. So there is one more thing I want to mention. Is the I mentioned previously we can use the T command. So that's the in the previous video about the standard input and output. So what we can do is redirect our standard out into uh, a log file. So we can have the standard out still display on the screen, but then we also have it uh, write to a log file. So you may want to keep SSH logs. Um, a lot of people do. So let me just do a uh, SSH back onto that server again. And then we'll still pipe. And then we'll just do a T. Oops. And then we just do SSH hyphen output or something like that, it doesn't really matter. But let's just do log. Uh, extensions don't really matter in Linux. Okay. Let's wait for it to log in. Okay. We'll just type uh, man. Traps matters, yeah, cool. And just do echo hi, just exit, and it 
should have a file called sshoutput.log at the very bottom there. So we just do a cat sshoutput.log and you can see here the log starting from that cat command here. So so all the um, the SSH banner has been logged here, which is quite nice. Uh, you've got the um, you've also got the any commands I've run, so man SSH. You've got the echo, etc., and then you've got the exit. Note one thing: you didn't if you do any kind of uh, VI or anything like that because it's not technically standard out, it's a you run an application, you won't be able to get the uh, the output of that. So if you need to I don't know output a script or something like that, you need to do a cat or, or an echo or something like that to, to pull out the information you want to, into the log. I think that's that pretty much covers SSH. Um, if there's anything additional you want me to cover with regards to SSH please uh, comment below. If you like this video uh, and you like my other videos, please hit subscribe and, and like this video it would be it would be great. I, I hope this video has been informative, um, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.